Okay, everyone, just like I told you, I have brought along two incredible guests that have never been on this YouTube channel before. So if we could just give it like a at home clap for them first of all, but let them introduce themselves. Who we have? Hi, I'm Corporal Scott with the uh, Post 916 Fast Coast Sheriff's Office. I'm Explorer Captain Tyler Borgatis with the uh, Post Commander for Explorer Post 916. Boom! I have no clue if I'm in this frame. Just make sure like glance every so often and just uh, Tell me like your face isn't even in the shot. Okay, so today it's a really rainy, awful day. So I was going to show you guys a little bit of our Explorer getting to ride along with a deputy, but I can't get any of the gear wet as you all know. So we found a racetrack and uh, there's Deputy Joey Martinez actually, okay. but we found a racetrack so that we could just have some cover because you got to do what you got to do. When you come to film, you got to figure it out. So, I don't know how many times, like, in a year, do explorers get to ride with deputies? Uh, basically, come after, closer, come closer. Yeah, after tighter shot. an explorer has qualified through their field training program and completed the ride along academy, they can ride along uh, if they're under 18, up to 48 hours per month. Okay, uh, okay. So, typically, you know, the standard that I've set for them is they need to, to do a shift every month. Uh, but okay. many of them do more than that. And I have some explorers that are over 18 that do up to 72 hours per month. So, oh, wow. Okay. So they really get a lot of experience over, the, over their time period. Are they riding the entire shift, like the entire 12 hours, like a regular W, or do they split it? Or are they able to if, split it up? If you're 18, then they ride a full shift. Oh, that's wow. That's if they're out of high school. Okay. If they're under 18 and in high school, they can ride an eight hour shift. Okay, makes sense. That's really cool. And. Just so you guys know, Explorer Captain is homeschooled. So he gets to kind of make his own schedule and whatnot because it is a Friday. This will not go up today like normal, but that's just something really cool so that he's able to kind of do this on a weekday to see what happens rather than just on the weekends, which is true too. So tell us a little bit about the Explorer program. What's the goods? What do you guys have? Well, and the Junior Explorer program as well. I'll start out with the Senior Explorer Program. Uh, it's it's basically, it's chartered under the Scouts of America. The Sheriff's Office sponsors a post, Post 916. Uh, every year, um, we have typically between 30 and 40 to 45 members in the post. Mm -hmm. uh, during that time, they'll start their field training, which is mostly academic in some scenarios. Mm -hmm. They'll go through the Ride Along Academy, which is a week long of uh, uh, first aid, legal, defensive tactics, mm -hmm. and a lot of other subjects just to get them prepared before they actually go out on a ride along. So they have to qualify. Okay. During that time, they actually do the, P the PAT, the physical abilities okay. test. And they also get OC sprayed, yet. so they get a little pepper in their eyes, so. Kudos to you guys. I uh, feel like I don't get paid enough for that. <laughs> well, you know, as, as volunteers, they probably feel like they don't get paid yeah. enough exactly. either. Exactly. But, but it, yeah. it's uh, more experience for when you actually still have to do it in the academy or in the NMO program. Once you're hired on, yeah. more so, experience. And, and we actually have over 800 hours of events mm -hmm. and training planned every year. And throughout the year okay. that they will touch every single training event that you do in the academy mm -hmm. through the Explore program. That's really exciting. Yeah. That's really exciting and really cool. So it's basically for not basic because it's so much more than just basic, but for all of you followers that comment in and ask all the time, like what you can do to get your kids involved, um, because uh, we do have a junior explorer program, which is for the middle schoolers, but the explorers is for the high schoolers. This is a way to get them introduced to all of that. If they're, if you see that your kids or nieces or nephews are really into it and really want to pursue a career in law enforcement, or if you just think they might need some structure and discipline in their lives. That's a really good, this is a really good way for them to do that as well. Hold on, we're gonna adjust shots. My shoulders hurt. So we, there's two different posts. One is post 916, that's for the senior explorers. And then we have a junior explorer program is for those that are 11 to 13 year olds. The senior explorers is for 14 to 20 year olds. And the junior explorers is for 11 to 13 year olds. And that is a post run by Corporal Alyssa Elders. And uh, she provides instruction that is community support, community-based, and also a lot of safety-based with some law enforcement interaction 
and activities uh, and a lot of fun activities for them as well. Um, but going back to the senior explorers, after they complete you know, their ride along academy and they start riding, uh, riding along, getting their time, they, uh, they start with me and then they'll start going out with other deputies. And I try to vary up the different shifts and the different types of deputies to get them different experience. Because they can see different things. Because everything, right. just like followers, I don't know if you can hear me, but just like on Tweet Along, do you see something different, day versus night, left side versus right side, districts one, two, or three, you know? Exactly, and then uh, it's not just sit in the, in the seat. It's not just sit in the seat and watch what the deputy does. Uh, you know, Captain Bogatis here was, was on the radio calling out our traffic stops really, this really? morning. That's awesome. So uh, they are involved. They're they're taking notes. They're they're helping us. You know, they're mm -hmm. they're writing draft reports, and we're looking at it before anything. And we're we're adding our notes. They're doing everything that we can allow them to do mm -hmm. and gain the experience. They're on the computer and they're qualified to do all of those mm -hmm. things. And uh, so when they actually get started with the sheriff's office, and we have several that have been you know explorers for five years, when they start. Their first day of field training, their FTOs say it's like they started their last day of field training. That's awesome. So um, it's good for them. It's good for us because we get to know them. Mm -hmm. They get to know us. Mm -hmm. And then everybody is more successful. Mm -hmm. So, Captain, yeah. what is uh, your experience being an explorer, a quarterback explorer? How do you feel about it? This isn't your first rodeo. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, I've been in explore for about two years. Uh, I realized uh, when I started that it was a great opportunity for me to learn more about law enforcement. Um, so the program has given me a lot of leadership skills, work skills, and then obviously I'm learning things about law enforcement every day and it just makes me realize how much more I want to go into the career. So I'm looking forward. I still got a few more years so I can join the academy, uh, but I'm really excited to continue. Would you recommend this program to anyone else that wants to do law enforcement? I would definitely recommend this program um, for anyone that wants to go into law enforcement and even somebody who doesn't want to go into law enforcement mm -hmm. um, just because it, it builds that discipline and mm -hmm. your um, your responsibilities. How? What about like making connections with like uh, like minded like kids your age or like, teenagers? I'm sorry teens your age and everything you know like mm -hmm. you you also make connections because you have time to spend with them as well don't you yes a bit? yep so the program is great for anybody who wants to um work with their fellow classmates mm -hmm. um they work in squads together so it's a it's a great great program for pretty much all around it's a great program what has been in your two years so have you I know you guys do some competition mm -hmm. I know there is a national competition and a regional competition what have you attended either one? I've attended both. Yeah. What's your favorite part about that? My favorite part is uh, probably doing the scenarios, preparing for mm -hmm. the scenarios. Um, all the scenarios are based off of law enforcement uh, calls, like mm -hmm. calls for service. Mm -hmm. um, and it really gives you that experience and that knowledge in order for, you know, in the future when you're a deputy. But that's probably my favorite part. That's awesome. Corporal, can all of the explorers, you can see do all of the explorers get to go to competitions or is it like a hand selected few or how does that work? Well, it, it's it's really based on our ability to support that gotcha. um, you know, through donations mm -hmm. and support from the community. Um, the more donations we get, the, the more kids we're allowed to take out of town and go do all these fun activities. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the state competitions and the national competitions are, are pretty expensive, mm -hmm. but that's not the only thing we do. We actually take uh, the kids up to uh, Camp Landing mm -hmm. and, and we host a Leadership Reaction Academy. I've seen the whole, from that, it looks so fun. <laughs> the, the, the whole week, uh, the, the kids are, are experiencing mm -hmm. uh, a lot of different leadership reaction scenarios mm -hmm. and they get high stress and they, they find out what the stress reaction really is. Mm -hmm. And uh, through those long days, just like real deputies have long days, mm -hmm. they find out what it is. And by the end of the week, they realize, wow, this is a lot of work. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, they, they, I think they get a lot out of it. And mm -hmm. I, I, I couldn't get one negative review from, from the explorers. And I, I think they got a lot out of it. Final question for all, for all the smiles I can give you, cause I don't have anything else. 
do you actually want to be a cop or are you like, oh, shit, I want to be a firefighter? I definitely want to be a okay, deputy. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Is there anything else that you guys would say or want to like reach out? Hold on, we're going to flip. We're going to flip this around. Okay, let's bring it home, guys. Is there anything else that you would say to anyone, parents, kids, someone that doesn't live in Pasco, because also this is everywhere. I found out this is nationwide, so check right. out your local- uh, Explorer post. Explorer post to yeah. find out more information, but what, what do you guys have to say? Like, what's well, the last thing? If you're interested in the Explorer program, uh, for if you go on to explorers.org, mm -hmm. uh, you should below. be able to find uh, a post or a four that in your area. Oh, if that's you awesome. live in Pasco or close to Pasco, um, you can come to the Explorer Post. Yeah, we're at Safety Town. We meet mm -hmm. on Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You, you're there? Uh, and then on Thursday nights for the Junior Explorers, mm -hmm. that's the 11 to 13 year olds, they meet mm -hmm. from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, they can come out and experience a meeting mm -hmm. and decide if they want to put in an application and, uh, and find out what this is all about. That's awesome. So you guys have seen Safety Town plenty of times before. It's not too Bar. It's kind of centrally located to Pasco. It's off of 52. I was there recently last week to film the Stop the Bleed videos, and I actually saw families that were shadowing the meetings, which I thought was really cool because I didn't know that that was a thing. So that's also a way. It's like a orientation. Like when you go back to school, it's like an orientation for the Explorer program. Kind of? Kind of. Boom. Anything else? No? No, we're good. I think that was great. <laughs> and I wish I could show you guys more about them getting to ride along, but I'll also link a video at the end of just like what it's like to do a ride along, for the most part, like a tweet along, and just insert them in the front seats and that's it, basically. But do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Yeah, we're gonna go <laughs> handle some calls. <laughs>